Welcome to another Tales from the Deadpool Minibus Volume Zero. Today we're covering Deadpool, Wade Wilson's War. Issue 1. Domino is incarcerated, and Deadpool is asked to testify. He begins telling the tale of a black ops operation that took place in 1983 in the jungles. This team included Bullseye, Silver Sable, and of course, Domino. They burned down villages, cut off heads, and did what they had to do to get their intel. The whole story kind of sounds like Deadpool made it up, but is it a lie? He ends the issue by beginning to take off his mask. Issue 2. A man from Houston may have evidence that Deadpool is telling the truth. Deadpool's wearing a mask on top of a mask on top of another mask. He then begins to tell the court of another flashback, this time from the 1970s, and regarding his origin story. But we wonder how much of it is true. And how did he get his scars? He then tells of a further operation that this Project X had in Afghanistan. But we begin to wonder, did this really happen, or are they mental patients? Issue 3. Dogpool is used to distract the villains so that the team can assemble. They attack the cartel. But was this all in Deadpool's head, caused by an explosion, perhaps, that left them all in the hospital? Domino prepares herself and Deadpool is shown some surveillance footage that tells a different story of what happened. When Domino reaches the courtroom, she pulls a gun on Deadpool and fires. Issue 4. Domino actually shoots the guard, and now Deadpool and her both have guns aimed at each other. They argue in court. She claims they're not actually superheroes. Deadpool takes a moment to stop and tell the real story. The plan all along was to kill the senators and to bring this case to court so they could do so. The roof is bombed and it turns out the rest of the team is alive. They all escape. Or do they? Dun, dun, dun. So, these four issues are actually, I don't know, I really liked, uh, it, it was a very different story that um, wouldn't have fit in a normal series of the comic book because it deals with sort of alternatives that they wouldn't want to face. Like, we have Deadpool, this very unreliable narrator, telling this story in court, and we do continually see uh, scenes where it's not quite as he's telling them, as, especially in uh, issue two where we're seeing multiple versions of what really happened, one being explained by Deadpool, one being explained by that guy from Houston. And um, I don't know, I, uh, I, I kind of liked that about this because it allowed, uh, it allowed them to sort of play with what's really allowed in the realm. And it does have you kind of believing that Deadpool's just imagining all of this. He's just some nut reading comic books that has made up this whole superhero narrative and even when they get to the end like when they get to the end and there's the big shootout and they escape and everyone's alive and they keep cutting to these these hospital scenes and them bandaged up and you're left kind of not knowing what's the truth i mean it's funny because like you know the truth there's several other deadpool comics right we're not going to rely on these four issues of a limited run to, to, to be really like canon but uh, to be canonical but uh, I, I kind of like that level of freedom with uh, some of these these limited runs and that's kind of why I've been looking greatly forward to cover, covering some of the minibus and some of the uh, the fun little one-shot trade paperback stuff out of the five stories in this minibus volume uh, I gotta say that one uh, definitely stands out as something that's a little more narrative because uh, quite a lot of 
comic books are like, you know, he's fighting someone in this issue, and then he's fighting someone in that issue. And that was kind of the case with the previous one, but uh, this entry actually followed a lot of interesting, convoluted story twists, and uh, you were left not really knowing what uh, what was true. So, uh, I, I like that one. I like that one a fair bit. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay cuddly.